Good evening and welcome to tonight's Midsummer Board of Education meeting, regular scheduled Board of Education meeting. Um, if you'd please turn off your cell phones for the few people and board members like me, <laughs> turn it off and then please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for coming out on this wonderful evening. We should be having this meeting outside. Yeah. <laughs> we got somebody want to propose a resolution tonight? Yes. <laughs> okay, please call the roll. Already, President Wasserman. Here. Vice President Brandstad. Here. Secretary Baker here. Treasurer Singer. Here. Member Frizee. Member Frizee is bailing out his basement. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Mem Member Gordon. Here. Member McFarland. Here. We have a quorum. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the consent agenda. You see it in front of you, uh, minutes from last meeting, some staff resignations. Um, Bob Paris amongst the lists. Let me see this. Following uh, several books that were presented for a 28 day examination that we heard about a few meetings back. Um, adoption of the Michigan School Code <coughs> Article School of Choice. Um, request approval from the Board of Education to continue accepting non resident school of choice students. As you realize, we get the foundation grant from where they come from, not from our foundation grant, but it's incremental revenue. Um, two application periods per year from February to September, and there's no changes there that, of what we're going to do. And then some legal invoices for payment. Um, can I have a motion to accept the consent agenda? I move we accept the consent agenda items 2.1 through 2.5. Support. support. I'll give the support to Yvonne. Any additions or deletions uh, or questions or discussion? Congratulations to Bob Paris for his new role as uh, principal at St. Charles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any others? See none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, moving on to Board of Education matters, I will turn it over to Mike. Our first one, is we're looking for approval on, as you do annually for the Michigan High School Athletic Association for our four secondary buildings to belong, join uh, Michigan High School Athletics. And it's fair to state, without joining, we don't get to participate in prior even Saginaw Valley League events and certainly not state and regional type events. So, um, can I take a motion, and then we will have to um, have a roll call vote, but I'll take a motion in a second. Are we doing these just 3.1? Um, are they kind of a group? Three point, yeah, all of 3.1. Okay, all I, 3 I, I'll, I'll move that we adopt 3.1 as outlined in our agenda tonight. Okay. Support. We have motion by Scott and support by Pam. Any, Angela. oh, is Angela? Angela? Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't look, I just heard. I'm sorry. Um, any discussion or questions? For Mike, I have, I have none. Okay, we'll we we'll call roll call vote, please. President Wasserman. Yes. Vice President Brandstad. Yes. Secretary Baker. Yes. Treasurer Singer. Yes. Member Fizzi is absent. Member Gordon. Yes. And Member McFarland. Yes. Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, the next item is delegate to MS MASB. Uh, voting rights for us as we vote on organizational activities down there. Um, you can see last year was Dr. Kaminsky, and I believe the year before it was Dr. Kaminsky, if I'm not mistaken, and Pam was the alternate. Um, I solicited nominations, I received three, and uh, since Ben Public Cool says I'm supposed to pick a nominee slate, I did, and I'm recommending Scott McFarland as the delegate and Patrick as the alternate, so we get some of our lesser experienced folks more involved at the state level. And, and Lynn also volunteered, and of course, uh, in terms of attending things, you're more than free to. And so, um, but that the nomination is Scott and and Patrick. And if anybody would like to move that and support it, we can go from there. I move for item 3.2 that we nominate Scott as the delegate and Patrick as the alternate for the MASB 2015-16 meeting. I'll support, support that. Support by Pam. Um, any questions or di discussion? Thanks for volunteering. Mm -hmm. Yes. My pleasure. Thanks for the nomination. Now you got to attend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just a little pressure. <laughs> you can't just put on your resume. No time no, to withdraw. The motion's in. <laughs> okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
the eyes have it. I'll turn it to Mike. Um, we're looking for the approval for our control system contractor. Um, I think FFO heard a long explanation of the process we went through on the control system, and I think Bart Mel put a nice uh, uh, program together where we are going to um, make the recommendation that we go with Metro Controls, a low, low bidder on it, but there's a little more to it why we're going with that as well. And uh, at this point, the controls is for the middle school boiler units. And as we go through this project, they did such a nice job, but we can um, possibly um, use Metro Controls for all of our controls, or we can decide somewhere down the line that we could um, have Metro Controls do our middle schools and another organization do our high schools, which gives you more flexibility as we go, because one of the things that you worry about with control system is one single company owning you. And so, uh, Byron Mellon did a very nice job, and Metro Controls were low, was a little better, plus probably our first choice anyway, so. I'd open to a motion and we can have some discussion. I care to move? I move that we accept item 3.3, the low bid of Metro Controls for $31,045 for software install and middle school boiler controls. Support? Support. support. Moved by Vaughn, support by, by Scott. Um, I'll ask for comment or questions. Well, I mean, we, we sat through it, and I really appreciated they took us through the methodology that they used to really evaluate um, from, I think, quite a large list down to a smaller list and then delved even further into that. So based on everything they showed, I'm very comfortable with this um, recommendation. I was impressed with the spreadsheet. They showed us just all the different vendors and they didn't just look at what we're purchasing this time, but they looked at the cost of what we're purchasing as well as replacement parts down the road and really itemizing everything from a valve to sensors. And I really felt like they were very detailed and looked at and overturned every rock and, and really uh, got us good information so that we could make a good decision. But the thing I liked the best about it is the control and um, the ease of use and not not really uh, looking at w what has been around with legacy systems, but uh, it just really looked new and um, easy to use and I think it'll be great for the district. Yeah, my comments at the same meeting was uh, the ease of use looked very good. Some of these can be very complicated having bought them for the industrial setting. I was very pleased with the ease of use and understandability by people who are not control professionals. I mean, that's what you got to have. Second, I was really concerned about the sustainability of both the vendor mm -hmm. and the underlying software provider. The underlying software provider was United Technologies. I am not worried about their long-term viability in this space. Uh, they may not be the owner of it six years from now, but someone's going to own their proprietary software and, and continue to market and sell it. So I'm not worried that we're going to buy something that we're not going to be able to get, I'll call, updated, serviced, or or be a albatross five and six years from now. And, this is, and the financial stability of both are very good, so I'm feeling really good. And to Mike's point, what I liked is we're not married. We can be married to the hip if the engagement period goes well. And if it doesn't go well, we don't have to be. And that's good. That keeps the negotiating pressure there and it uh, keeps us from having to guess who to buy today that we may wish six years from now we didn't have. So it gives us that option down the road. Okay, any other questions or comments? That being said, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> the ayes have it. Mike, back to you. Board approval for the computer carts complete the purchases for the middle school's um, updated uh, technology in the classroom for our students. And so this portion is the computer carts that will, the, that will um, store the units as well as um, charge them overnight for the student use. I'll accept a motion first. I move we accept item 3.4, middle school, for the purchase of middle school computer carts. Support. Moved by Angela, support by Lynn. Questions or comments? Nope. Looks like a good move. Well, two <coughs> carts per classroom uh, for both middle schools, and um, it looks like the recharging technology has improved, and, and we'll be saving um, energy costs uh, utilizing these carts as well. Again, it's a nice infrastructure project versus device project. Yeah. And, and secondly, I was struck, I was um, interviewed by a person going for their Eagle Scout for their citizenship of the Community Merit Badge. 
And the young man had questions ready. His very first question, I'm expecting why you're on the school board, da, da, da. Very sweet question is, how are you going to make sure we have enough computers to do all the testing and our classwork during the school day in the future? <laughs> I had a laugh. I mean, it was, truly was his very first question. Mm -hmm. And this is, an, an obviously, one step of the enablement mm -hmm. of doing all that. So, okay, uh, any others? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We have our cards. And moving on to the next one. And then this purchase, the, the previous two were um, bond purchases, and this one's going to be through what we call trig funds. And those trig funds were um, uh, grant money from the state to make sure you are ready to deliver all that online testing and your Wi Fi. And so um, the technology department is looking for to upgrade the software so our wireless access can control all those computers that we're putting into our middle schools. And you do have Dave here for any of these questions, since I'm not the one to ask these questions to. Mm -hmm. do, before we move on this one, feel free to ask questions before we do the motion. Anybody have questions on the content of this? I think this is from the bond, though, right? No, nope, this, this last one is software. I know, we're not to the last one yet. That's why. No, oh, did I skip ahead? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. That's all right. I was we'll, go to three, six. So you, we'll go to 3.6. We'll go to 3.6. You, you open with 3.6, we'll go to 3.6, come okay. back. All right. Okay. So any other questions on the software one? That is our budget item, right? That one is a trig grant funds, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this software just manages, it helps us manage all of the, um, the computer access we need in the middle schools uh, with all the, the different needs of the devices, whether they're personal or uh, school devices. Correct. And it does that for automated matching takes the lead there. Uh, is, is the software too for backup purposes or uh, or is it? It will, it will back up for those configurations and things like that, but not the actual devices. Okay. Okay. Any other right. questions? See none, we'll, I'll accept a motion for 3.6. I motion to approve item 3.6 for the district software purchase. Support. Uh, moved by Pam, support by Angela. Any other final questions? See none, we'll take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, opposed say nay. Ayes have it. Now we'll move to 3.5. 3.5. Sorry about that. Well, um, no, and I was just thinking in order since I had sat through FFO. I was kind yeah. of, you know, I should have listened to what you had said. Yep. So we're looking to purchase the uh, five servers through with the bond proceeds to replace the five oldest servers um, the virtu in the virtual server farm. They've been operating for five years, Dave, continuously. Um, and so uh, they're at that age. Yeah. Go ahead, Ed. They're all, they're all five years old. We have nine virtual servers. Five of them, four of them for production, and one for disaster recovery. Okay. Any other questions? I just I can make a point. I could ask Mike for, it, but I'll just go ahead and make it. The reason we buy these is state law prohibits us from leasing under bonds, which is something we're trying to address. To say this is insane, you know, the leasing could be could be a better deal, may not be a better deal. I think this is fine. It's not a bad deal at all. But we don't have the option. If you're wondering why lease versus buy on some of this stuff. Okay, any other questions or comments? All in favor of 3.5 say, say, say yes. Oh, I got a motion first. I'm sorry. Yep. Thank you. I just looked at it. Everybody. We approve item 3.5, the purchase of the um, five district or servers for the district. Support. support. Moved by Angela, support by Scott. Any other question or comment? See none, moving to vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. There. And I'd like to comment that it, all this stuff was infrastructure tonight. It's all backbone stuff. Okay. Now we'll move into Board of Education Matters and hand it over to Mike again. Um, we have on our website, and I think we have listed it for you, um, the uh, one, the generosity portion of our community as well as some other scholarships from outside and the recognition of our students who have achieved scholarships in the class of 2015 and um, that, that list is quite lengthy so we won't go through it tonight but we want to recognize all those students who are on our website and that dollar amount was 11 million dollars in scholarships this year. Wow. So. That's amazing. Yeah. So thank you to those who put on it and what a great job by those students and certainly their families and their accomplishments through their high school years and 
um, off to college they go to continue that. Excellent. Thank you. Um, now we'll move to request to address the board. Roger, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. So we'll move on to the next section the agenda for FFO. Um, I do believe we have study committee minutes from Pam. I do. Uh, July 13th, the FFO committee met. Um, Mr. Cooper reviewed the work done by Mr. Mrs. Lux on determining the district's cash flow low point that will occur in September. The current analysis shows that the district will have enough cash on hand and will not need to borrow. On legal advice, a second cash flow analysis will be done at the end of July. If conditions change, a resolution to borrow can be brought to the August board meeting. And we had a bond update. Mr. Dizek shared the details of three technology purchases that are in tonight's board of agenda and approval. Uh, the three purchases included the middle school computer cards, district servers, and district software. The first two purchases will be with bond funds, and the third purchase uh, with the TRIG grant money, as discussed. Dale Jerome from French Associates reviewed the Central STEM Elementary School project. He discussed the earlier series of 13 programming meetings that took place to assist in the design of the new elementary school. Reconciling the project budget with the programming document and the next series of schematic design sessions. Daryl Dumbrow from Barton Mallow reviewed the selection process of the control system and contractor for bond projects. This was followed by a presentation from Metro Controls, uh, the selected contractor on the capabilities of the control system. And we all just discussed and went through that as well. So the next FFO meeting is Monday, August 10th. Any questions? Seeing none, we'll move, <coughs> hand it over to Bob. Okay, I have uh, two items for information tonight, then one for your action. Uh, first, I have gifts totaling $10,800. Uh, that's in the form of four different gifts. Uh, we have $1,740 going to Plymouth Elementary, in memory and honor of Ann Hara, uh, paraprofessional that worked there. Um, we have $1,000 going to East Lawn from East Lawn uh, Elementary Student Supplemental Education Endowment Fund. Uh, $3,000 is coming from the Dow Chemical Community Gives Funds, and those are going to Midland High uh, in different areas. So there's three different teams that see the funds there. And finally, the Boosters Club at Dow High is, is donating $5,060. And again, that's going to various uh, camp expenses, scholarships, et cetera. The second item for information is a list of six instruments um, that you can see there. I'm not going to read through all of those, but uh, very typical this time of year for us to, you know, people going through things, finding instruments they're no longer uh, using, but are still very valuable, as you know, and donating those to the school system. And, and helping us out. Uh, the item I do have for action tonight is the purchase of 85 Midland High music uniforms. Um, you can read there how they're doing this through the Looking Sharp Fund and again why they uh, stick with one provider, if you will, to match the uniforms, design, all those things that go into it. It doesn't mention there, but so you know, uh, that 85 uniforms is about $43,000, a little bit more than that. And that's coming from the Looking Sharp Fund. But that, that requires your action because of the amount of money. So did you. Thank you. I'll accept a motion on 6.4. Motion to uh, accept the gift uh, it, and item 6.4 for the Looking Sharp uniforms. Support. Support by Angela. Motion by Pam. Any question or comment? Again, thank you. It's always great to look good, and it's expensive to do it, and there would be no way we could do this without the generosity from um, the Community Foundation. Yeah, I applaud the, uh, the, the, the band parents for, music parents for driving these yeah. kind of funds. Mm -hmm. you, know, you had the prior one and this one, and I would encourage everybody to consider potentially donating to that fund. You get the, the state tax uh, thing, too, by going through the Midland Community Foundation. Um, and it keeps us in uniforms, etc. So thanks to all the donors and the parents for driving that. Any others? Okay, all in favor of 6.4 say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Move on to HR. 
A charge going to be made as Mr. Verlindy is now in retirement. So, mm -hmm. um, two items: um, the board and staff extend their deepest sympathy to the family of Mr. Paul Conkite, who passed away on July 2nd. Mr. Conkite had been a member of the Dow High, Char High Charger staff as a paraprofessional for approximately eight years. He began his employment with MBS in 2000 as custodian, then moved into the Dow High paraprofessional position in 2007. Mr. Conkite was a treasured member of the Charger team. Um, we also have Mr. Douglas Mason from Middle Public Schools. Skilled Trades Department has announced his retirement as effective August 31st, 2015. Um, and I think Mr. Cooper can tell me tell us exactly. I think he was one of our carpenters. Am I right, Daria? He was one of our electricians in, in the department. Um, I couldn't tell you the exact number of years, but quite a while. And our sympathies to the Grand Cry family. It's a well-known group of people in this town. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see correspondence to and from the board. You'll see our future board meetings. No special meetings coming up um, until next year. Then we have to talk about next year because those are tentative schedule. I'd ask you to put them in your calendars. If you see conflicts that aren't going to be resolvable, now's the time we might be able to tweak if we can tweak. So get with Cindy on that. And at this point, we'll open a study discussion session. I'll start to my right with Pam. Um, I know this week is the beginning of an audit and the entire, just wanted to say uh, what a great job the entire district has done on, um, on reducing expenditures in the district. That's all I have. Yeah, I was to say, I think I echo that part, but for a different reason. When it came out that we may not have to borrow money in September, I think that's mm -hmm. a credit to every single person in the district who did a lot of work this past year not looking for that we were all working on next year's budget, but something had to have happened this previous year to make that um, a reality in September. And so thank you to everybody who put in so much effort to do that. And then the other thing we had at our FFO meeting, we had more discussion about the um, elementary school on the central site. And that's just getting really exciting, seeing um, all the things that they're discussing. And I'm very excited to see where that goes. That is it. Well, I guess I don't have a whole lot other than I, Bob Paris well. We'll miss him. He's been a, a great addition to the MPS staff in the past but, and have enjoyed working with him on the Special Services Committee. And so um, I'm sure he's got lots of exciting new experiences ahead. So and I hope everybody's enjoying their summer. I just wanted to also say congratulations to Bob Paris. I think that's great. I wish him well. Um, and then I was wanted to say also what Angela said, that's really exciting about the new elementary school and also about being able to uh, spend these technology dollars. It's so nice to, well, it's nice to know what students are interested in, what their concerns are, and then to know that, you know, it's kind of exciting and gratifying to know that we can meet those. <laughs> so it's a good thing. So that's all. It's nice not to have much to say. I mean, things are going. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing I wanted to just add to the well wishes is to, to Betty. Um, we, we do have a card for her, and, and um, on behalf of the board, we, we do all wish her well and a speedy and complete recovery. So that's it. This guy you stole my thunder. There was a busy face in the audience again. Oh, yeah. And it's Betty, and uh, wishing her very well. Mike. As I told Cindy today, I, I, I bet she's still watching the meetings. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, on Central Elementary School, uh, it's interesting you brought that up today. We had uh, another focus group, so we had 13, and then we're in round two, as Dale would say, um, where the um, some of the concepts are caught now on paper. And so we got to kind of see his uh, where he expects it to sit on a lot and what, what it might be looking like. So today was a very exciting day. Um, you know, again, we had the teachers and um, um, the users of it, some, some of the office staff, some of the custodial staff, those uh, folks in. Tomorrow's day two. Um, we look, look a little deeper at some other things today. We looked at traffic flow and classrooms and um, the STEM rooms. And if I can remember what tomorrow is, um, I don't know. Cafeteria. Cafeteria, yeah, that, that's part of it, that's right. Cafeteria is in there. <laughs> yep. And so <laughs> <laughs> we're getting closer and closer, so it'll be interesting the next FFO meeting for you folks to actually be able to see where it sits and how it's going to work over there as we go forward. Um, 
a lot of this started this week, and I had a kind of a funny moment this day because I happened to look out my w window about 8 a.m. and um, four sedans pulled into the parking lot, and it was like in unison. And <laughs> four young professionals got out in, in their dress attire, and they all had the same bag where you pulled off the handle and set it on the ground. <laughs> and they all walked <laughs> in a single line like true auditors would do. So <laughs> I, I just couldn't help comment on that this morning as I saw them come in. So. Um, the auditors are here and they are going through the books. Um, Carol and Bob uh, and the business staff um, obviously were preparing last week and as I reported to you, um, some good news and, and you know we adopted a budget a little over a year ago for the 14-15 school year at about 4.5 I think million we were expecting to draw I think that number's right correct 4.9 and um, we're expecting another to tell you 500 to 600 thousand is what we dipped in and that is wow. as you said well, every nice. single person in the district looking at where we can save money lots of personnel we didn't replace more people wearing more hats and so what a great job we've done how far we've come and we're trending in the right way as i said to you um, a while back we're trending in the right way but we got to keep watching it with um, certainly we know we're going to get smaller as enrollment goes and that's going to be a difficult one for us as we continue um, IBPYP, as we were looking at the audit, you know, that kind of stood out to us that um, next year those funds will be gone. Just about in the spring will be the last uh, dollar spent. And so um, we'll spend this year kind of looking at, um, you know, the, we, we were servicing it a certain way to get it off and grow, going. We knew that. And we knew when the grant funds were gone, we'd have to restructure similar we did to IB Diploma. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to do the same with PYP. So we're in that year to study that. And Brian will put a group of, uh, users again together to take a look at how we're going to restructure IBP UIP for the following school year. HR um, has is excitedly looking at new teacher orientation and w what do we do with new teachers and is that the best uh, use of their time when we bring them in and so they think they can do some new and exciting things and um, as our profession continues to move forward it's really about instruction and curriculum and how that movement's going forward and so HR and, and the curriculum department will be working on this one together which is a little bit of a new twist there probably for that day as we go forward. Um, cash flow and brought that up and I think that's probably good news we don't know for sure yet but uh, you know we a year ago you would have caught me saying we definitely were borrowing mm -hmm. but when yeah. you go from 4.9 4 to maybe 500,000 um, it looks like we've been able to carry through um, that, that side of it. and I think we have one more lean year and if everything works the way we think we've structured going forward if you recall I think we're out of that lean spot so we're trending and heading in the right direction on that as well and I think that is all I, oh, the last one I want to mention to you is we have switched the name of that um, MPS Connect uh, button. It was Talk To Us. And so that was the service that we got provided to us during the bond. And that thing um, grew where people are using it all the time for lots of good information. So it's two-way communication. It just sort of us just putting information out there, asking us for information, and we're providing it to them. And so with that service um, being costly and um, French and Associates and Barton Mell had purchased that for us. Um, during the bond proceeds to help us be successful in communicating our message. Um, we want to continue and uh, I give technology and Dave and I think particularly Jake Novak developed our own uh, software system to do that. And so, of course we had to use a different name so it's now called MPS Connect. So if you hear of a different terminology um, that is what it's like. And I skipped one other one I want to talk about and that's the Science Center. And so we've been, if you recall, um, we've been getting prepared part of what we call the warehouse and um, where we're going to move the science for its final spot time. <laughs> so we've moved them a number of times with us wanting to get out of Franklin Center and use Central and then with what, once we discovered that Central, what we're going to do with Central, uh, we needed a final home for them and it's going to be in the warehouse and it's just about prepared and ready to go. So you'll hear that as well as so we go forward. Excellent. Any other questions for Mike? Seeing none, uh, everybody enjoy the, especially our staff out there. Hope you're getting refreshed and enjoy the second half of the summer. Unbelievable that we're almost halfway through it already. And I hope everybody's enjoying it and be safe out there because we want everybody the back. back. The school stuff at the stores. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does with, not excite the Brian's <laughs> <laughs> With that, we'll stand adjourned.